ticka 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 I'm Amy, this is Rowanna and we're from Sheffield. From being in the womb, Rowanna wasn't growing properly but they didn't know why. When she was born she continued not to be able to put on weight, she was really small, she wasn't even on any of the charts. Finally we've got a diagnosis of CTNNB1 syndrome. It means that none of her muscles develop properly. Increased tone in her legs but a weakened tone in her body so she can't sit up unaided. We have to feed her through an NG tube at the minute but as you can see she likes to grab things all the time and she isn't in control of her movements. This is a continuous feed what she's on and if she pulls the tube and dislodges it this will keep going and she could be pumping milk into her lungs and effectively drown. All the medical professionals, the district nurses, the physios, her consultants are all in agreement that she needs a peg feed into her stomach so it goes through her stomach and into her intestine and it would make feeding more comfortable, feeding safer but we can't get on a theatre list for some reason um, the communication just seems to be terrible We was admitted recently for the procedure to be done um, last week when we got there nobody really knew much about it but we were admitted anyway we were then told that the procedure, the operation wasn't going to happen that week at all um, because she wasn't even put on a wait, waiting list um, but we've been conversations started on the 5th of December about this being done so she's been waiting a hell of a long time she was officially put on the gastro list on the 27th of February and we were told it would be a five to six week wait um, obviously we're now near the end of April and we're still none the wiser she will repeatedly pull this tube out and be in discomfort she's risking food being put into her lungs, milk, the milk that's coming through the pump. She's in pain with it, um, she reacts to the stickers, she gets nosebleeds. She's in unnecessary discomfort really and it, it's not safe. Recently when we were admitted and nothing happened in the admission we refused to leave until we got a date and they've given us the 15th of May but I take that with a pinch of salt as well because they don't stick to anything that <laughs> they say. And she's got a lifetime of disability ahead of her so the least we can do is just feed her comfortably and effectively.